Hey you bunch of fishing legends and welcome to my channel. Subscribe to join my fishing adventures chasing the elusive Mulloway Jew Silver Ghost. Whatever you want to call them, I think they're one of the most rewarding fish to catch. Plenty of tips, tricks and tactics to hopefully help you catch that fish of a lifetime. Hope you enjoy what I have to offer. Cheers. Something else, and welcome back to another episode. Yeah, I'm on. Uh, one of the reasons I reckon that Mulloway are so hard to target. It's a bit bigger this one. Yeah, I'm on again. Another reason Mulloway are so hard to target. I'm a better fish this time. We're on again. Boy, I think Mulloway are so hard to target. Oh, yeah, good fish. I'm on to something else. Unreal. Just changing batteries and that. And this rod went off. Yeah, another salmon. Just actually trying to put my waders on. Hey you bunch of fishing legends and welcome back to another episode. Finally. Finally I get back down the beach again. And look at this. First bait. First bait, nice salmon, about four or five pound. Nice fresh bait for the night. I'm excited, it's gonna be a calm night. Only a uh, fairly small tide, it's just before the dodge. Um, first quarter. But anyway, sorry I haven't done a video for a while, but I've been busy trying to find a job and, and every time I plan to come down here, the weather turns to crap. But anyway, I'm down here now, and I've got to get stuck into it. I've been stuffing around. Got to get another bait out. Keep you posted. Yeah. I'm uh, puffing my guts out at the moment. Been running around like a madman. I only just threw the bait on the bait before this one. Um, I threw it out, put it in the rod holder, and bang, something hit it. Took the bait, wound it in, put another bait on, threw it out. 30 seconds later, bang, this little fella hit it. It'd be about uh, 45, 50 centimetres. Uh, got to get him back but yeah tonight I thought I'd discuss why I think Mulloway are so hard to target um, I'll let you in on a few tips and that that I, I've, I've uh, worked out over the years the reason why I reckon they're so hard to target but anyway um, but I'll get this girl back nice and healthy chuck another bait out Yew! Come on, yes. And he just threw that out too. Nothing huge, but the fish. What have we got? Little gummy shark, is it? Yeah, little baby gummy shark. Hey. I'm going to tag and release this girl. She's 77 centimetres. Have a look at this little girl. The fish are going off. I've got to get another bait out. I've uh, tagged this girl. She's 77 centimetres. 
Got to get her back, get some more boats out. Yeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
going over that way. What have we got this time? Have a little mully, is it? A little mully, I think. Well, he went way over that way. Ah, another salmon. Well, here we go. Second salmon for the night. That's two salmon, two mulloway, two gummies. Uh, I've got enough bait with that first salmon I got, so I'll let this one go. But what a what a nice fishing so far, unbelievable. And I'll get her back. Here you go, salmon. Wrong way. Come on again. Guilty. Only something small, I think. <laughs> A little mulloway, I think. Yeah. Oh, God, I was up on the hill ringing the wife. I seen the rod bounce. Oh, on the popper! I tried out these new poppers. Have a look at that. The new poppers I bought. Got most of them only got small hooks, but this one's got 8 0 on it. That's the first fish I've caught on it. Little mully. They work. <laughs> Just got another little mully. Only a small one, but so it's still a mull away. About four, he's about two wrong league with that one, about 46 or something. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention, I think uh, another reason Mulloway are so hard to target is because one night they'll buy it on Pilchard, another night they'll buy it on Squid, another night they'll buy it on Fresh Salmon. They always seem to like different baits, they don't always buy it on the same bait. Um, but yeah, it's not always fresh. I've caught big mull away on uh, stinky frostbitten pilchers before that are like three months old. But yeah, the, the big ones do tend to like the fresher baits, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah I reckon that's another reason why mull away is so hard to target because they never seem to like the same bait um, two nights in a row. So yeah, I'll get this girl back anyway. It's uh, three mile away for the night so far. It's hopefully we get to, hopefully we get a legal one, big one soon. Ew! Only little girl. She's still a molly. I just love catching mile away at any size. How can you not love it? Have a look at it. What a such a beautiful fish. Oh, yeah, girl. Oh yeah, on to a better fish this time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Oh, please be a mully. Oh, 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 please tell me that didn't. Oh, I thought it got off. Please be a mully, I reckon it might be a gummy. Oh, it is too. Bigger gummy though. That's a better gummy. That's a good size gummy. <laughs> Look at that, legends. That's a better gummy shark, that one. 96 centimeters. And I got nothing in the freezer, so she's coming home. Oh, she put up a good fight, that one. I was hoping it was a mull away, but nice gummy. But uh, yeah, I've got to get some more baits out. Tide's just changed. I was hoping to get a big mully on the tide change, but nothing so far. But yeah, this one's coming home. Hopefully we can pick up some more and, and maybe some more mullies. 
Awesome night so far though, can't complain at all. What an awesome night's fishing. Yew. I also think Mulloway are very smart fish, especially the big ones, and they won't take a poorly presented bait. So yeah, I think that's another reason why they're hard to target. Run again! Swimming in. Oh, what do we got? Another little gummy. Oh, he's another little fella. Oh, he's a baby. Tag and release this girl, 83 centimetres. Oh, look at this, another little girl. Tagged her. She's uh, 83 centimetres. That's the third one. Third one tag? No, second one. Second one tag for the night. I think, yeah, that's four gummies all up. Second one tag for the night. I'll get her back. What an awesome night's fishing. Yew! Two gummies and one mully tag for the night. I'd be happy with that. Off you go, girl. There she goes. Yew! Oh, you're a good fish. Good fish. Oh, well, this went straight in, that fella. Oh. Uh, that's number five gummy for the night. Have a look at that. That's number five gummy for the night. And the biggest one. She's 104 centimetres, that one. What a beast. Swam straight in. Put up a good fight to start with, pulled some line out, and then she swam straight, uh, he, he actually swam straight in. But what a nice fishing. Five gummies, three mulloway, two salmon. And I've still got about three, four hours fishing left too, so, oh, who knows what I'm gonna catch next. Hopefully a big mully. That's what I'm hoping for. But anyway, what an awesome night's fishing. Eww. Gummy, I reckon. Uh, another little gummy. Uh, have a look at that, believe it or not. That's number six gummy for the night. Unbelievable. Third one tag and release. She was, uh, what was it? 82 centimeters, that one. So I'll get her back. And uh, yeah, haven't got much of a chance to talk about why Mulloway are hard to target, but I'll get around to it. I'm trying to cook dinner, but the sharks won't let me. But anyway. Get her back. Eww. Oh, big wave. There you go, girl. Eww. Oh, no. Yeah, that was a good fish. Damn. 
damn it. Had it been out there for ages, I threw it back out again. Now we're on. Yep. Swimming in. Long time between fights. Not a bad fish. Come on, be a mully. Be a mully. What is that? Is that another gummy. I think so. And mullies around. Have a look at that. Believe it or not, there's another one. That's number seven for the night. That's a record for me. I've got six before, but seven's a record for me. What an awesome night's fishing. Seven gummies, three mulloway, two salmon. But yeah, getting back to. Boy, I think. Mulloway are so hard to target because they they only like to uh, they seem to gather in, in certain places. Um, from my years of fishing, I reckon they like deep gutters that drop off from shore. Not too much current. There's a lot of swell and current. They don't seem to like it too much. Um, but if, the, if there is a lot of swell and current, they seem to bite uh, the top and the bottom of the tide. But yeah, you need to you need to choose a good gutter if you want to be ca catch a mull away consistently. And uh, this gutter I'm in tonight, it's a pretty damn good gutter. But um, the currents the currents pretty strong because the swell's up. So I haven't, had, I haven't caught any mull away lately, but the gummies don't seem to mind. But anyway, yeah, I reckon that's another reason why mull away is so hard to target. I've got to get this back nice and fresh. Eww. Hey legends, thanks for joining me on another episode. That's the end of this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope those tips I'll give you help you out in your pursuit of chasing the good old Mulloway and uh, yeah hopefully I'll see you in the next one not too far away thanks for watching legends cheers Eww. all the fish were caught on the trusty old pilchard and the baby squid cheers legends <laughs>